Mass Effect Trilogy director Casey Hudson Studio. Just shutting down, mm. Michael. Tom Ivan over at VGC. In a post on LinkedIn, the Canadian studio said it was closing because of funding issues. Quote, earlier today, we informed our staff that Humanoid Origin will be shutting down. And quote, it said, quote, despite efforts to shield the studio from broader challenges in the industry, an unexpected shortfall of funding left us unable to sustain operations. We're heartbroken that we will not be able to bring our new science fiction universe to completion. Our main concern at this time, however, is for our team. And we are committed to supporting them in their transitions to new employment. In our time together, the team achieved incredible progress and demonstrated that it's possible to do amazing work while fostering a culture of fun and creativity. And quote, the statement continued. Quote, we thank them for their talent, courage, and friendship. Thank you to everyone who supported us through our journey. And quote, Human Aid, Humanoid Origin was founded by Hudson and a team of game industry veterans in 2021. Its first game was the multi-platform AAA title focused on character-driven narrative. Man, during almost 20 years of Bioware across two stints, Hudson directed and produced the original Mass Effect trilogy and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. He left the company for a second time in December of 2020. And once again now, dude, a team of veterans a team of veterans michael cannot make it work right now in our industry again another hit another loss and casey hudson's record dude is huge and he can't get funding for his own studio i'm not blaming casey by any means i'm blaming the state of the industry right now and where we're at this is not good yeah no this is uh again we've talked about it again it feels like every other week we've got some story about more layoffs more closures Ugh. in this industry. It's just, it's unfortunate. 2024 has not been a good year for gaming. And I mean, it's one of those, like we talked about, right? That's where you and I might not like it, but that's where AI might be something that, you know, needs to be helpful, right? You know, not to rub salt in the wound, but I mean, they had three years, right? We don't have a trailer. We don't have anything. Again, at some point, it's got to say, look, you know, we can't wait five, six, seven years for funding. I would be curious to see if you could, you know, be a fly on the wall in those meetings if. The funding and the lack of it was maybe due to stuff like we talked about yesterday. That Concord, what happened with Concord is making people nervous that, hey, these games, these original IPs that we think might really hit are actually the opposite. So again, who knows what Casey and them were up to. Um, the game might have been amazing, but three years in, you hate to see it. Hopefully the transition into this industry for everybody involved will be super clean. But man, 2024 has not been good. It cannot wrap up soon enough for because hopefully 2025 is where things start to turn around. It was funny because even in 2023, like it was for us as gamers, 2023 was a huge year. Mm -hmm. Like it hit hard. There are so many fantastic games. The industry though sucked. Yeah. When you take a look at the studios and the layoffs in 2023, kind of thought it would wrap up leading into 2024. Dude, I think we we're two weeks into 2024. Boom, studio layoff. I was like, wow. And it just continued to snowball through the rest of 2024 are we done probably not mm -mm. unfortunately right i really don't think we are and it just keeps going and going and going this is where we start to see people come in to that indie space maybe i'll just make a game with two three people maybe i'll make a game by myself kind of thing right I have a much smaller focus and we don't need necessarily all these grand massive games that we've been getting as of late Maybe that's the other side of the tipping scale too, Michael, is that these games are turning out to be 50, 60, 80 hours. Dude, when it takes you so long to make a game, I'm coming off of Dragon Age as a prime example, right? 56 hours in, I'm like, hmm. man, remember the days when we used to play a game and it was only 12 hours? Those mm -hmm. are gone. So now we get the smaller teams to be able to focus and give us something a little bit tighter, something a little bit faster, and maybe they can make enough money to then put out another game. but. Games industry right now, man, is a tough, tough place.